Hello YouTube world, Johnny Mo here, coming to you with this video on part four, Branch Theology. I am going to go over a little bit of review and then we're going to go into today's topic on growing your business slowly using the Branch Theology. And I, I gotta say guys, <clears throat> this isn't coming from a, uh, a person who just read a book and I'm inspired, so I'm going to share with you this, this you know, new theory as far as I know, I don't know. I've never read this in a book. As far as I know, this this theory is straight from Johnny Mo, baby, Johnny Mo. So, um, having said that, um, this comes from years of experience, and I want to pass this on to you. How, how we were able to sustain over you know 19 years, and um, <clears throat> just plan on going forward even. You know, you're still using this same theology. This theology works. The theology is this, guys. Um, when you're stepping out, you're climbing a tree and you're stepping out into a tree branch, the part closest to the tree is the most secure. As the further you go out, um, the weaker the branch gets and it's more likely to snap or bend or break and you can fall and I liken that to your business how you should grow your business is you know when you're first starting out don't grow too fast you know you know don't go balls to the wall you know the book called guerrilla marketing we're all gonna go out and get a thousand lawns and be out of business by the end of the year because you have no clue how to handle a thousand lawns and so what I like to do is I like to grow slowly as the branch matures and gets bigger we can step out a little bit more and be more secure, okay? That's that's the branch theology. I shared with you in, in video two, um, the, um, you know, where where do you want to be in business? Where do you want to go in business? How big do you want to be, you know? Starting off with a plan, because listen, you would never, you know, we go to the beach almost every year. I would never go to the beach without having a plan. Like, where am I going? How am I getting there? Oh, you know what, honey? Let's go to the beach. Let's just drive that way. We'll hit We'll hit it sooner or later. You know, eventually we'll get over there. I don't know. Just get in the car and go. You know, we'll buy clothes when we get there. We'll figure it out when we get there. Guys, don't do that. Your business should be well thought out and well planned. You know, don't go by the, the seat of your pants. Well, we'll grow if the phone rings or we'll hand out a thousand um, flyers and, and we're going to go balls to the wall. You know, Identify the perfect client for you. Who? What is your perfect client? You know, these are questions you have to ask. The third video um, is was about finances. You know, getting your finances in order. Um, <clears throat> talked about lowballing. My opinions about lowballing. You know, when you know your numbers, there's no such thing as a lowball. Listen, man, I could care less about that guy who's out there saying you're cheap, you're a lowballer, you're. You're ruining the business. I don't really care about you. I don't care about your business. Because this is my business. You don't sign my checks. You don't pay my bills. And as long as I can pay my bills doing this business, I'll continue to be the low baller. So that's my thoughts on low balling. I shared with you in that video also about, you know, making sure, you know, how John Smith Mowing knows how much it costs to pay his bills for a month. And that way he can extend himself out. Shared with you a lot. These are some great tips. I'm going to share with you about equipment purchasing. You know, when you're in a branch theology and you're here and you want to be here, you know, there's some steps that you're going to have to take. You're going to have to upgrade your equipment. At some point, you know, you have to get commercial equipment. You know, everyone asks, what, what's your opinion about equipment? My opinion is this. Don't play around with non-commercial equipment. If you're just starting out, and remember, these videos are not geared toward the guy that's just starting out. These are videos are geared to the guy that wants to take that next step. So what I'm about to say from here on, don't get offended. Don't be sitting there, oh, you're just a dick. No, I'm gearing this to the guy that's, that wants to take that next level, not sure where he needs to go. These are your videos. We have enough million, multi-million dollar companies out there telling you how to do it. You know, we have a lot of fresh startups. There's some great channels out here. I want to be that middle of the road guy showing you how to build your business properly, how to sustain, you know. So this next few little bit, you know, just, just deal with it. If you're that guy and you get your, your feelings get, 
you know, touchy and you're like, oh, I hate him. Ugh, ugh. Don't do that. Just relax and, you know, put this video aside and come back to it someday. And be like, oh, I get what he was saying now. But if you're just starting up, whatever's in your garage is fine. If Whatever's in there, just go ahead and use. But here's the point. When you're ready to buy your equipment, don't do this phase equipment crap. You know, well, I'm going to go from a 21 to a 36. Now I'm going to go from a 36 to a 48. Now we're going to go 48 to a 52. Now 52 to 60. Stop. You're wasting a lot of money. You know, I did the 21 to a 36 to the 52 to the 60. I spent so much money. I should have just went right to the 60. This is your first tip. Guys won't tell you this crap. You'll waste years. You know, <clears throat> don't buy the 48-inch walk behind. I'm going to put a Valky on it, and we're really going to make some money now. <laughs> Listen, stop it. You outgrow that 48-inch walk behind within a year and a half if you're even half decent at mowing. Go right to the 60. All right? Guys, listen to me. Go right to the 60. Build your clients for the future. When you're looking when you're looking to purchase your mowers and purchase your equipment, where am I going to be 5 years from now? Make one purchase, not a, like 6. I made like 5 purchases of mowers. I mean, it's stupid. I mean, really. What was I thinking? Now I'm here to tell you don't do that stuff. Go right to the 60. Mistake Again, here comes another mistake. These guys won't tell you this. But when you want to grow your business and you're going to make serious money at this business, you're going to have to go to the upper echelons of lawns. You know, you're not going to sit in the old neighborhoods and push 21-inch mowers and expect to make $100,000, $200,000. It ain't going to happen. I mean, you can make a good living down there. Hey, listen, man, I've done it. It's great stuff. But listen, if you want to go to the upper echelon and get past 50 grand and hire employees... Employees ain't going to sit around and, we're going to push mow for 10 hours today. We're going to do 15 lawns on old State Route 422 over there in the old section where the old timers are, the forgotten section. Those are cool. And, and you can make money over there. And there's not a lot of people over there doing it. But when you want to grow your business, you want to get out of there, and, and you know, you're going to have to get to the upper echelons. You're going to have to get into the developments, the half million, $250,000 homes, the people have extra money. The people who fertilize their lawns where the lawns grow fast. So, tip number two. When you buy your mower, your engine option, nothing less than 28 horsepower. Me, nothing less than 30. I got a 36 uh, horsepower sitting in that trailer right now. I have a 30 horsepower sitting in that trailer right now. Those mowers were made to cut. Now, <clears throat> what's the difference between non-commercial and commercial? You know, commercial mowers are made to take the abuse, and they're much faster. And this is the key. They're so much faster than these non-commercial. It's like, it's stupid to even go in that route, man. Don't buy that stuff. Now, if you already have a non-commercial mower, and, you know, <clears throat> that's cool. That was what was in your garage. That's what you're working with. I Listen, I ain't ragging on you. I'm just saying, when you go to make your next purchase, 60 inches, boom. Go for it. 32 horsepower Vanguard engines all day long. 37 Kawasaki's. When you get into these developments and you're humping at 10, 11, 12 mile an hour and that grass is shooting out that side, it ain't bogging down. You get these little dinky little mowers with 20 horsepower, 19 horsepower, chug a lug, chug a lug, uh, 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 I've got a mess everywhere, can't handle the lawn. You'll never be able to grow your business. You gotta get commercial equipment. You gotta spring for the big stuff, man. Spring for that 30 horsepower. It's well worth it. Don't play around with this, this other stuff. If you want to make money, see, when you go from a, a 20 to a 23 and you get up into the 30s, instant pro, product, productivity, instant. Because, see, what we're doing now is we're trading time for money. You only have so much time. So you need to buy the equipment the right time the first time, okay? Get yourself the 60-inch zero turn. Smack on the 30, 32 horsepower, and go at it. There ain't grass that can touch it. You get seven inches tall, you got to cut it, ain't no big deal. A foot tall, ain't no big deal. You get yourself in your little 20s, your little 19s, your little 23s, chug a look, chug a look, chug a look, chug a look. You're going to have issues. You're not making any money, man. You, you got to put, you got to get the equipment to turn the hourly rate up so that you can get to where you got to go. All right, now, 
And we're talking about um, buying, um, I also, we also like to buy um, fleet as much as we can because you get a nice discount if you can buy multiple mowers, multiple weed whackers, hedge trimmers, you know, blowers. So save up your money. I mean, you're sitting there like, well, Johnny, you know, I've only got a 36 inch walk behind. Now you're telling me to go to 60. That's a lot more money. You know, hey, listen, man, I know it is, but you know, in the last video we talked about, you know, not going above 50%. Your monthly bill should never go above 50% of your, your gross revenue. So listen, man, I'm not afraid to purchase some mowers on 0% or 1.9 and go at it. You know what I mean? Do it right the first time. Don't go buying, you spend four grand on this mower, and then you go up to this mower. This isn't a step, man. You need to take the jump. You need to grow your business, and when you get out here, it can support that 60-inch zero turn, man. Get out there. Take that jump. Take that leap, and, and you know, go out and get this stuff. As far as blowers go, tip number three, don't buy small CC blowers. Kick those to the curb. Get rid of them. Go get yourself the big boy backpacks and stop playing with toys. You're going to go buy them at one point. Well, Johnny, what do you think? You think I should go buy a blower? I was thinking about going to uh, Home Depot and buying the, the 50cc blower and they're junk. Well, Johnny, I had it for seven years. I don't care. It's junk. You want to make money. Get your the BR600, the 770, the 8500 Red Max. Quit playing around, man. You're about knocking out lawns and getting crap done. Man, spring on this stuff because you're going to buy it eventually and you need to get it done. All right? Now check this out. <clears throat> as far as weed whackers, nothing less than 25 cc's. Straight out the door. 25 cc, lightest trimmer you can get. And then get yourself a big boy mojo that can go and hammer out some stuff if you get into a ditch with some stuff get the big boy like the big guns that's a gun right there you need to get the big boy get the 30 the 40 cc we trim her out you know but for riding around the house 25 cc's you know whatever's the lightest reuse husqvarna at this time so whatever's light that's what i do um as far as you know i don't go anything less than 25 cc's because the engines blow up and listen, I don't want to hear, oh, I got a Home Depot, and we got an Echo, and 225 or 230 series, and they last, you know, 15, 20 years. I will blow that engine within two weeks, because we're weed-eating four or five hours a day, smacking it. And you mean to tell me that little CC, we'll burn the clutch out of it. The clutch won't even be there anymore. Then the engine will burn out. 25 cc's. Minimum requirement for us should be minimum requirement for you. Last tip on buying equipment. Now listen to me. I've made these mistakes. I bought the step up mowers. I should have never did it. I I bought mowers with not the right engine. I had to end up paying them off and junking them because they can't they can't handle the stuff that you need to do to make the money. Here we go. Here's the last tip. When you go to buy a trailer, don't do the five by eight, the six by twelve. We're going to go to a 6 and maybe 14. Maybe we'll go to 14. Right out the gate, straight out the box, 7 by 16 double axle. Buy it once. Quit playing around the last 20, 30 years. Man, listen, I bought four freaking trailers until I, until I finally smarted up. Another thing about those trailers, don't buy angle iron. But Johnny, they're so cheap. There's a reason why they're cheap. I was running down the road last year. I bought a, I bought a, you know, seven by sixteen. It had angle iron. I bought it off a guy here in town. Freaking all the angle iron snapped on it. Had to have it all freaking welded. Man, forget the that angle iron junk. It's cheap. It's not made. We were hauling two Z's. It was too heavy and it was probably going like this too much. Go out and get yourself some tubular steel uh, trailers, uh, corn, you know, corn pro and and, and some other ones out there. Don't go cheap on this stuff. Buy it once. Don't make the mistake I did. I'm trying to help you guys out. You guys are like, oh, you think you know it all. No, listen, man. I'm trying to help you out, man. Listen, don't buy cheap stuff. It won't last. And you're, and you're going to have to buy it again. Don't do the four trailers. God, be the Johnny Moe. Start out with a 5x8. You know, hey, man, that's my time. I appreciate it, guys. <clears throat> buy good stuff and you will be able to go out further on this branch because you'll be making time. See ya.